I took this rare Humvee and turned into an overlanding camper. Let's go do a tour. I ended up finding this particular vehicle on Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for something unique, a new conversion, something that was gonna challenge me a little bit more. And so I found this guy. It's an M997-1991 military Humvee, and it used to be an ambulance. And so before we go on the inside, I wanna give you a tour of the outside. Once we got it down to the shop, we ended up breaking it all apart and wanted to paint it. I wanted some kind of rugged look, so I ended up going with the Raptor liner and love the way it really turned out. It turned out great on the outside of the cab and we ended up spraying the inside of the cab as well. Now for the tires, I ended up upgrading them to these BF Goodwrench Bajas. These are 37 inch with run flats built into them. And I ended up finding out after I struggled with my buddy Mike so hard to get those run flats in there that the company would have actually done them for 30 bucks go figure, but it was a good experience and these really make the Humvee look badass. Another one of my favorite additions on the outside is the light bars. So I got two on this side, two on the other side, one on the back and one on the front. Now these are a game changer at night. I mean, it's like you just created your own daylight setting while you're driving around. So really happy the way these turned out and that brings us to the cab. And now for the cab, we did a lot of upgrades. We ended up ripping out pretty much all the old original military stuff in here and upgraded it all from the seats to the Cobra Tech seats to the Cobra Tech steering wheel, which gives you a little bit more clearance here without having a full wheel. Now for the gauge cluster, we ripped out all the original gauges because some of them weren't working. And so we switch it to the Speed Hut system, which has an all new version of the new technology for these Humvees. It looks great, it's all clean, and this speedometer is actually a GPS-based speedometer, so it doesn't have the cable that runs back to the transmission. For the middle, we have the backup camera, which I added, so I've got the screen here, added a cup holder, that was a must, because I had nowhere to put a drink, ever, and added a light bar system, as well as a USB spot to be able to charge. Now, when we swapped the transmission from a three-speed to a four-speed transmission, I had to swap out the shift knobs and when I did that I ended up putting a shotgun shell as the shift knob which is a cool little feature and for up top here I have the air conditioning so when we redid the engine we added another belt with a compressor so that way we have AC in the Humvee one thing that was missing in here was the sound system so I ended up putting like a golf cart sound system up here to kind of get it out of the way and it's Bluetooth works great has LED lights in it you know the whole shebang but really pleased with this oh yeah and I never took off the M16 rifle. We ended up keeping these same storage bins that they had in the Humvee in particular. I added the little magnets up top, but ended up turning this particular bin into the gray water tank. Now I have a small eight gallon gray water tank right here and have a little power switch so I can dump as well as the hose for my water fill, which is right here. And this is my 120 plug for electric if I need a plug in. And I still have a little bit more storage on this side. Now for the other side, uh, that's just an open bin for anything that needs to stay outside, like little mats, rugs, chairs, etc. That side is open for storage. Now let's get to the cab, which is why everyone's probably here. So for the cab, it's still the aluminum and Kevlar base topper that the military ended up adding on. Now, it had no windows in it at all, so it was just a dark hole once you close the doors. So I ended up adding some RV windows to both this side as well as the other, and the porthole windows on the back. And for even more ambient light, plus a little bit more headspace, I added a skylight the whole length of the topper as well. So let's go ahead and go in there and check it out. Oh 
oh yeah, before I forget, for the roof, I've almost forgot, I have 400 watts of solar panels up there, as well as a max air fan, and the other half is gonna be the skylight. So one of the things I just recently learned from some other people buying these from the surplus is that the military actually takes off the back doors now because then you have a Kevlar box. This is just what I've heard. Let me know. And the stairs too, which how cool are these stairs? This is one of the main reasons that I bought this. Look at this. That's so sick. Now before going up the stairs, one of the features that I added into the spot where the gurney used to be is now an outside shower. So you can just hook up, twist it, turn it on, get some water pressure, and if you need to, wash off your feet or your, uh, your vans in this case. But it's a nice thing to be able to just wash off and rinse outside. It also has a hot water hookup too, so you don't have to take freezing cold showers. All right, come inside. So when you first walk up in here, you can see this is why we did the skylight. Not only for the ambient light, but you have the extra headspace in the aisle. Now I'm six foot tall. No, I'm just kidding. I'm five nine on a good day. And I have plenty of room. I have a little bit of clearance. Um, obviously if you're super tall, this isn't ideal for you, but this makes it easier for me whenever I'm camping in it. All right, welcome to the inside. This is dramatically different from the ambulance body build that was originally in here. I'll throw up some of the old clips right now so you can see what it previously looked like. So right here, when you first walk into the right, I have the mattress, which is, you know, a pretty much couch and it's a bed. I was originally gonna do the bunk style, but it would give you less area to sit right here with it. So I went ahead just with one mattress. Now up here, I built a little headboard storage so that way you can store things like countertop pieces, you can put your pillows, your blankets, all the stuff here for sleeping. Up here, how to put a TV in here in case I'm working. It's an extra spot where I can hook up to a monitor, etc. Got my light switches for the inside, for the puck lights. Now this area is a little tricky to see because uh, it is a tight spot, but I do have all the shelving in here. So I have uh, baskets up here so you can add toiletries, some clothes. On the back side right here, I do have a Mophie router so that way we have full internet off grid. And then the diesel heater hooked up, which I did integrate the diesel heater system into the existing system that was in here on the floor. So that's a nice feature. And then down below, got a little bit more storage, got some tools down there. Hopefully you don't ever have to use them, but it's safe to have them just in case and up top added the max air fan now stepping into the cab area this is where we have the electrical powerhouse now i have a 300 amp hour lithium battery and a full off-grid system i can put all the details to that right here if you want to watch how our off-grid system is set up but after camping in this thing off-grid for a few times it's amazing i mean this is the ultimate off-grid system it is set up to power everything you have and stay off grid efficiently. Moving over to this side of the cab, I have this extra storage, the storage compartment that comes up right here. And I have everything for my skateboard, which is a must, some more tools. And this is a portable AC system. If I need it for inside of the cab, uh, just to stay a little bit cooler. I also love the fact that this whole area can be closed off so at night you can just have your own section right here but you can also access the cab from that way all right so moving on to the fun side of the humvee over here we have our countertops that i ended up getting from ikea that uh, was a scratch and dent that ended up working out perfect for this application was able to rip it down and make it fit for the humvee and over here we went with the gas burner now gas is so much more efficient than using an electric burner. So I decided to go with gas. I have a small propane tank up here. Then on this side, I have storage for utensils, pots and pans. And one of my favorite features back here is dun, 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 the electric outlet that you can also charge your phone with on top of it, as well as have multiple ports right there hidden in the counter. 
Also, sorry that this is rocking. It's on the bed and it's super sketchy, but when I move, it moves. <laughs> Moving on up in the kitchen, I ended up going with the Rabati sink. This has everything you need for a small space. It's got the depth and doesn't take up a whole bunch of room on your countertops and it's still just as efficient just for smaller vehicles. Got plenty of room up top for some of the foods, spices. Over here we got some pots and pans. Moving on down, I made all of these cabinet faces. Uh, I did not make these little leather loops. Those are from Ikea. Quick little steel, but they look really good for this. So under the sink, I have the water heater in here as well as a filtration system and the water heater is on a switch so if I'm going to take a quick shower I can just heat up four gallons of water real fast it doesn't draw too much because it just keeps it warm then I have warm water it's just one of those things that I feel personally is something that I need when I'm camping off grid now let's talk about the fridge so for being able to stay off grid you have to keep an energy efficient mindset so I ended up going with this DC powered Dometic fridge and it's nice it fits perfectly underneath of the cabinet and every time I feel like it's not going to be big enough I end up having more space in here than I even thought so got it all loaded up right now it's got the freezer option and honestly this has been way better than I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be good but it ended up being great now even lower to the ground in the space below the refrigerator is the original area where they had the gurneys etc I ended up putting a 20 gallon water tank in here as well as all the accumulator and the water filtration system and a gauge so I can keep track of when I have enough water. And 20 gallons will typically last a single person about a week if they're showering and doing a lot of food and dishes. And finally, the bathroom. This is one of the most controversial things and vehicles because some people believe you need it some people believe you don't but me personally after living on the road for multiple years it's something that i think is a must for me personally so i went with the bathroom in the humvee i put tile on there some people hate the tile people some people love it but i love the tile it ended up working out perfect for what i needed and i'm sitting on a compost toilet now this is an ogo composting toilet and the thing that's nice about this is it's detachable. So it can be used as a bathroom right here. It has a churner, which is cool. So it's all electronic. There's a lot of cool features of this thing, but I can disconnect it. I can put it out in the hallway and I can close this off and use the shower like this. And it works perfect. So that's the, that's the Humvee tour. That is the shower. This is the bathroom. That's the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.